All right, what's up guys? This is Tyler back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be covering something adjacent to music. If you've got a good song, how are you going to listen to it? I'll let you in on a little secret. You probably want headphones. You know, maybe you're in the market for, you know, something kind of wireless, something convenient. You stick them in your ears, you're good to go. I might have the answer. These come in at around $70. They are the J Buds. J Labs Executive Air Air Executive. I, I I really don't. But here they are. And uh, I mean, you know, compact and convenient. I'm gonna cover a couple different topics about these headphones. So the very first thing that I want to go over is function. How do they sound? How do they work? So basically, how do they work? It's got a wireless charging case, a la the. Uh, AirPods, when you open them up, they look like this. You got your two earphones resting in the wireless charging case. Nice vegan leather uh, top cover here. They close magnetically, that's pretty cool. It's AirPods Pro-esque, but these things have been out longer. You need to listen to your tunes, you take them out of the case, now they look like this. Now will you focus? Aha, that's what they look like right there. So, uh, they don't sound the worst. They sound a lot better than some of the options that I've seen and, and uh, you know, tried out this holiday season. Put them back in the case and you can tell they're charging because the lights turn blue like this. If uh, you know, focus camera, lights turn blue, that means they're charging on top of the headphones as well as on the front. You'll see two blue lights. When they're ready to go, you'll see the white lights. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. They're, you know, convenient. They sound nice. If I have one to two maybe gripes with these headphones i'm just gonna let you know right now one is the included proprietary cable which kind of hangs off the butt of the charging case it, it's kind of like a single point of failure for these things if, the, if this thing breaks now you have no way to charge your headphones and the entire rest of the thing can just be thrown in the trash please don't throw them in the trash they're actually pretty nice i, I got them on black friday on a sale but yeah, don't throw them out. Once you take them out of the case, they, the first time they pair is not the worst. Um, takes a few minutes. You got to get them to pair together with each other, and then you can pair it to the phone. Uh, you can put them in your ears. Now, my ears are a little, a little small for these things. So when you go to put them in, you kind of got to wiggle them behind. Kind of got to get them behind the little ridgy bump in your ear that gets in the way of them. Once they're in, they're not too bad. They're a little uncomfortable. Um, I wouldn't, you know, really want to use these for like an hour or two at a time. But, you know, for a half hour or you got to make a phone call and you're in the middle of something. Or, you know, you just want to listen to some tunes while you work for a few minutes. These things are great. They're convenient. You stick them in your bag or your back pocket. And... You forget about them until you need a pair of headphones and then oh look i got a pair of headphones beautiful so they function pretty well i mean they're stylish they look nice i would give them an eight out of ten overall they're pretty good and uh you know if you still happen to find any deals i picked them up on black friday for 35 bucks they're normally about 70. if you happen to find any deals definitely don't miss out on that but you know if you have to spend full price on a pair of headphones and you're looking for something that uh you know might fit your needs or fit somebody else's needs that you know these might be worth checking out i mean they've got the airpods pro functionality without the airpods pro price they've got the uh they've got the tips with the little uh squishies that go in your ear they're in in-ear headphones not like the uh the pods you know the, the apple pods or whatever they go in your ears, so they got a little bit of noise cancellation. You can turn on dad mode by giving three taps to your right ear. And now dad mode has been activated, which makes everything sound boxy and weird, but you can hear everything, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, if you've got music playing or jamming, you're really not going to be able to keep a conversation going. I've noticed that most people's voices are right in that range where your music is going to be playing, but, you know, the higher pitch things like uh, opening cabinets or, uh, you know, somebody tripping over uh, you know opening doors the beep of your uh, badge as you go back into work or wh whatever all that stuff you can hear that you know pretty well 
uh, car noise, traffic, things like that. So it's definitely not the worst. The, the mic quality is, I mean, it, let's face it, they're all right for phone calls or FaceTime or whatever. You're not gonna be recording videos with these things and neither should you with the AirPods unless you're um, really good at making bad sound sound okay. J Labs, J Buds, Air Executive, that's a, a hell of a long name. Hopefully they're amazing results. I mean, I've had them for about a week now, I'm not gonna lie, a little over a week, and I kind of really like them. I've tried a couple other pairs of headphones in, you know, in between times, and I think I just keep finding myself grabbing these because they're convenient and they work, and they work well, and they don't overstay their welcome. I had a pair of knockoff earbuds that are aggressive with the Bluetooth takeover, so you can uh, automatically start listening to your music even when you don't want them to, because they're off technically. They're in the case, and when they're in the case, you want them off and not working, and those things did it. But this, this hasn't been an issue. You have to continuously clean the little uh, pieces, the metal pieces on the inside of the case, and you have to continuously clean the metal pieces on the earbuds themselves in order for them to go into the case properly and charge properly but as long as you can you know keep your stuff clean keep some some wipes around or whatever they work pretty well they give you i would say airpods pro functionality for about a third the cost so if you can get a pair of these things i mean you know they're definitely worth it they'll make good gifts really they're they're just solid overall so I would recommend them. If you happen to see them while you're out and about and you're in the market for this kind of thing, pick them up because they're convenient and you know they work, they sound good. They don't sound amazing, but they sound good enough. You're never going to really notice it. They're, they're not you know, like uh, professional headphones. You're not gonna be mixing music with these things. You just wanna be able to bump your tunes while you're uh, you know, out and about. And actually, if I tap on this one, Oh, maybe it was double tap. Well, it would try to play some music, but I think my phone's dead upstairs. I just wanted to get around to making this video because I've been thinking about it for a little while. So yeah, I want to recommend them. I'll link them down below if I remember because I'm really bad at doing that kind of thing. They look funny charging because they kind of dangle like this. Because let's face it. They're supposed to be plugged into a computer, like the ones I got behind me, but uh, you're not going to plug them into your laptop and wait for them to charge while you're using your laptop. What you're most likely going to do is you're going to be like me. You get home at night, you empty your pockets, you plug in all your electronics, and this thing goes in the wall on a USB adapter, and then it's hanging like this. And this is something that's going to give it out over time, but... I mean, for 70 bucks, if they last you a year, that's pretty much worth your time. It's not like it's not like most things you get last you a year. Let's be honest, we're wasteful people, but that's just the way the news goes. Oh god. See what I mean? So it does really hurt your ears after a little while wearing them, mostly because they're so big, these battery pieces. They kind of have to be, but the way that they fit in your ear and their size combined <laughs> makes it kind of uncomfortable. Like I said, you gotta keep blowing all the debris out of the way to make sure they get right in that charge case, but as long as they both get in there and start charging, you see the blue lights come on, that means they're charging, they're good to go. I'm rambling now, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to post this now. I was excited about it, now I'm getting all frustrated and irked. J-Labs, Airbuds Executive, whatever, get them, all right. Peace.